Um, now, uh, Manchester City, it's been really interesting watching them in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, they beat Newcastle 2-1. Um, and Rafa came, Rafa Benitez came to park the bus. Very unambitious, unlike Wolves the week before, who put pressure on City. Uh, didn't seem afraid when they won the ball back and went and pushed up and played some football and got their reward in terms of uh, a point. Uh, City, uh, he has already, it seems, Liam, he's resting players. He's been very strategic in the teams he picks. He didn't start Bernardo Silva, for example, uh, at the weekend, although he did come on as subs. They only won 2-1. Um, and this young fella, Jesus, uh, is having a, a tough time. He's clearly lacking in confidence to score goals. He missed a good chance. Um, but it seems that they're not going to get maybe the flyer they got last year. Uh, and even Newcastle were able to score against them and just give them a little shiver. Well, yeah, you know, coming out after a World Cup, you know, when your players have been deeply involved in the World Cup, as many of the Manchester City players have, um, I think there's always a kind of negative reaction at the start of the following season. And they're not in full flow. But I tell you what he is doing, Eamon, and you, you said the word, it's strategic. Yeah. He's looking at the opposition. He kind of knows who, who, uh, which way the opposition are going to play, who the manager is, what kind of tre trends he's got. Uh, and he's picking his team according to that. Uh, and I don't know whether that's actually helping City. You know, you can't you can't get in a rhythm. You can't get in a you can't get on a roll if you're being playing one week and then you're you're out the following week because yeah. of the opposition you're playing. So he might be in a, he might be being a bit too clever. Right. I think he he has that tendency, doesn't he? he Remember, does, yeah. in his first season, he was playing full backs and tucked into midfield, yep. and he was doing some strange things. So he has that tendency, but. He has such a such a, a powerful squad, Eamon, that he probably can do this and get away with it for the moment. But it'll be interesting to see uh, when they next come up against you know one of the big teams they've got to play, like United or Spurs. Uh, that that'll be really interesting. Or Liverpool, and uh, just, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to Liverpool yeah. because Klopp definitely has it has it over him, doesn't he? You he know? does, yeah. There's no, there's yeah. no doubt about head it. In head-to-heads, he does. I think it's six. Mm. Uh, six two or something, 